In this video, we'll be taking up the ground quadratic relations from vertex form homework sheet. Um, in the previous lesson, I taught you three different ways to graph these uh, quadratic relations. Um, I didn't specify which technique, so I don't really mind which technique you use. I personally use the step pattern, um, but just in case you use the mapping rule technique, I also gave you the mapping rule. I just didn't give you the table. But since you have my key points, then you can match it up with your table. Uh, at the end of the day, all you really want is the is for the parabolas to look the same on the on the graph. Okay, so one uh, A and one B are pretty straightforward. You're really just applying one single transformation: five units left, four units up. So, not much to say there. Step pattern still one three five, like the original step pattern. Okay, for C and D, that's when it gets a little more interesting. Um, Nothing too crazy. I gave you the step pattern, I gave you the mapping rule. Try to give yourself five points uh, when you're graphing a parabola. Uh, you can give yourself more, but um, it's usually a minimum of five. Three, you, would ar you can argue it's too little, so give yourself at least points. We will specify that on the test. Um, e was a little, not tricky, but the points weren't as uh, pretty to, to plot, um, but just approximate it, and that's all we expect you to do. Uh, F was pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. Um, vertical stretch by a factor of 2, that's why the step pattern is now 2, 6, 10. And there's your mapping rule. Okay, so for the next lesson, we'll be graphing quadratic relations again, but this time, instead of from vertex form, we're starting from factored form.